Parts of the capital region are still digging out tonight after getting buried under more than a foot of snow. The tow trucks, they are out tonight in Albany as the snow emergency in the city is now in effect. If you have not moved your car at this point to the even numbered side of the street, well, it might not be there uh, where you left it when you wake up in the morning. Our Craig Smith is live in Albany right now. Craig is this, this is the part of the winter rather that many people just don't look forward to. Yeah, that's true, Dory. Uh, people who aren't prepared for this part of the winter storm are uh, in for a rude awakening if they don't plan ahead. These are some of the folks uh, you mentioned who are in good shape tonight over on the even side of the street. Over here on the odd side, there's a lot of snow to be moved tonight, and those guys are some of the guys who will be moving it. This time of year, if you forget which side of the street you're on, it can make a big dent in your pocketbook. 30 minutes before she had to have her car out, we found Rona Wilson on Washington Avenue, squeezing into her car with help from her building superintendent. How many have you dug out today? Uh, at least 12. Scott Weil happened by and grabbed his shovel to help Wilson avoid a big fine. Just happened to be walking by and she almost slipped over there, so she needs some help. So I just got my car out. I'm already on a roll, so keep it going. The price of being unaware or unconcerned with the rules of the road in Albany is a $50 fine and a $125 tow. Add in the aggravation and time spent retrieving your car and the total cost can easily make a winter like this one more maddening. In Center Square, not everyone is ready on time, but most folks know the drill. Stay off the odd side for the first 24 hours, leaving the snow to the Department of General Services, and then the car owners on the other side move theirs out during the second 24 hours, a two-day operation that unclogs city streets. For example, here at Quail and State, this ambulance got stuck for a few minutes behind a city bus that wouldn't fit between a parked car and the blade on a snowplow whose driver was in traffic heading the other way. Go ahead, cut it. Back on Washington Avenue, Rona Wilson guns it one last time with 10 minutes to go before the deadline. Always good to have some helpful people around you. The snow emergency in Albany began tonight at 8 o'clock. When they get started, they usually have crews moving up uh, Washington Avenue, where you saw some of the tow trucks in that report. And at the same time, they moved down Dove Street. But some of these guys who work for DGS told me as sort of a Valentine's Day present this year, the city decided to hold off on Dove Street and get started around 10 o'clock. That was to give people who might be out dining a little extra time to finish their meals before they could come out and be forced then to get their cars onto the right side of the street. We're live in Albany, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.